40 college football bowl games are upon us, but honestly, ain't nobody got time for all that. So we are here to tell you which bowl games matter. It's the drive through bowl guide special. Kerry Chow, Adam Rittenberg, you ready to get right into this? Dude, let's go bowling. Bowl, I see what you did there. Chick-fil-A, Peach Bowl, part of the New Year's Six, even though it's on December 31st. I've got a problem with that technically. But anyway, number 19, Houston, against number 9, Florida State. FSU opens as a 7.5-point favorite in this game. Uh, how do you think Houston can match up with the Seminoles' athletes? Well, they have great athletes of their own, namely their quarterback, Greg Ward Jr. This guy is explosive as a runner. He can throw the ball as well. He's got one of the best quarterback coaches in the country, and Tom Herman, their head coach, overseeing his development. But it's going to be tough against the athletes that Florida State has, especially on defense, but also a guy like Dalvin Cook, their explosive running back who should have gotten more attention in the Heisman race. He's going to be tough for Houston to stop, although their defense played well down the stretch against Navy and then against Temple in the American Championship game. So a real opportunity for Houston here as the group of five representative in the New Year's Six to knock off a, a power team, Jimbo Fisher, and all those athletes that Florida State has every single year. Yeah, last year's group of five representative, Boise State, actually represented pretty well, did. defeating Arizona in the Fiesta Bowl last season. We'll see if Houston can follow suit. All right, All-State Sugar Bowl, number 16, Oklahoma State against number 12, Ole Miss. Ole Miss, Opens as a touchdown favorite in this game. Uh, both teams average more than 40 points per game this season. Is this just going to be a track meet? I think it will carry, but I think Ole Miss has a little bit more on their defense. Remember the Land Shark defense that they had last year? A lot of those guys are still around. Robert Kimdichie, namely in the middle. Um, they should get a little bit healthier also in the back end. And, and you, you look at the way that Chad Kelly has played for much of the year. Laquan Treadwell at receiver. We know Oklahoma State can put up points as well with their receiving core, their quarterbacks, uh, their scheme. But they're defensively, they really struggle down the stretch. They rely so much on sacks and so much on takeaways, but they're not really going to stop you consistently if they're not taking the ball away or forcing you into negative plays. So if, o if Ole Miss can stay out of those situations, I like them to win this game. All right, and the Pokes have lost two straight after starting off the season 10-0. and 0. Okay, so those are your New Year's Six. Now it's Bowlapalooza. You're ready to go rapid-fire bowl games and why you should care about each of these. Fire away. Fire away. Valero Alamo Bowl. That's on January 2nd in San Antonio. Number 15, Oregon, taking on number 11, TCU. This could be a matchup of two of the most exciting quarterbacks in the country. Why should we care about this game? Well, I think we should definitely care about it if TCU is healthy. With Trevon Boykin should be healthy. They hope to get wide receiver Josh Doxson back from injury. If that's the case, it's going to be a very high-scoring game. Oregon has... Uh, of the teams that aren't in the playoff, probably is playing better than anyone in the country. Vernon Adams is healthy, putting up huge numbers for the Ducks. So it just comes down to TCU's health. We saw what they could do as a healthy football team in the first half of the season. And if they can get there, close to there, for this game, they'll have a chance to keep up with Oregon. But awfully hard to go against the Ducks with the way that their offense is clicking now behind Vernon Adams Jr. That game, January 2nd, 6.45 p.m. on ESPN. Russell Athletic Bull, December 30th, December 29th, rather, in Orlando, number 10, North Carolina, taking on number 17, Baylor. The Tar Heels might still be seething after the ACC championship game. Controversial onside kick ruling. Why should we care about this game? Well, it's similar to the previous game with Baylor. Are they going to be healthy? Because if they, they will, this is another track meet type game. We know that North Carolina can put up points. We know that Baylor, when it's healthy, especially at the quarterback position, can score. Uh, they lead the nation in scoring. They lead the nation in total offense. So that's going to be something to watch entering this ball game, Kerry. But I, I think North Carolina, their chance to complete this season, which ended with losses uh, on the front and back end, but they could end up with 11, uh, 12 wins this year to really validate themselves as a new emerging power in the ACC Coastal Division. That's going to be big for them. And for Baylor, can they do something outside the league? We always harp on their schedule. Here's a chance to prove yourself against a strong out-of-conference opponent, but I think they're going to need to have some quarterback play, some quarterbacks healthy to do that. Yeah, it'll be a, certainly a, a strong test for the Baylor Bears. Larry Fedora, UNC head coach, signing an extension uh, a little while ago. All right. That game, 5.30 p.m. on ESPN. Moving on to the Royal Purple Las Vegas Bowl on December 19th. It's the Holy War in Sin City. BYU 
taking on Utah. Why should we care about this game? You stole that line from me. I did. I yeah, took it's, it. it's a fun one. I mean, th this matchup between these two teams in Vegas just makes it more ironic. But, you know, it's Bronco Mendenhall's last game as BYU coach before he goes to take the Virginia job. Uh, these two fan bases do not like each other, even though they're in the same state. Both teams play great defense, and uh, I think it's going to be a defensive struggle. So, uh, you know, again, you, you, when, when these rivalries that we, uh, we were, grow accustomed to go off the schedule, it's always nice to see these teams meet in a bowl game. And in the case of these two, that's the case. So I expect a low-scoring game, but I like Utah to come out of there with a win in the Holy War. Watch out on the Las Vegas Strip for craziness that week. 3.30 <laughs> p.m. on ABC on December 19th. All right, New Year's Day, the Buffalo Wild Wings Citrus Bowl in Orlando. Number 14, Michigan, taking on number 19, Florida. Now, these two teams almost created the, the college football playoff uh, doomsday scenario where they could have created an absolute chaos. Yes. And now they ended up playing each other here in the Citrus Bowl. Why should we care about this game? Well, the first-year gyms, both first-year coaches, Jim Harbaugh at Michigan and Jim McElwain at Florida, did tremendous jobs taking programs that were really struggling, even though they're historical powers, and leading them back to this point. So that, that will be a fun matchup to see how they are uh, meet, meeting, meet, matching up with each other. I think Florida, can they find some offense? That's the question I have coming in. Offense struggled so much down the stretch. Will bowl practice pay off for, for Treon Harris and his weapons and his offensive line? Also, Michigan getting healthy on that side of the ball defensively. They need to get healthy there. They need Jake Rudock to be healthy at quarterback after taking that big hit from Joey Bosa. So, uh, but I think the, the coaching matchup and the two traditional powers on the upswing again makes that a fun one to watch. Harbaugh versus McIlwain, 1 p.m. on ABC New Year's Day. Tax Slayer Bowl, January 2nd in Jacksonville, Florida. Penn State against Georgia. Now, Georgia will have an interim head coach, Brian McClendon, filling in as Mark Richt obviously took off to Miami, and Kirby Smart going to stay around for Alabama's college football playoff. Why should we care about this game? Well, again, I think these two programs, we don't know where they're headed. I mean, obviously, Kirby Smart, the era starts. We don't know where Georgia's going to be uh, going into next year. And for Penn State, it's an important moment. You know, James Franklin, I know he created a lot of excitement when he was hired there at Penn State, but so far, only seven win seasons. They don't really have a signature win so far. He actually did a nice job as an SEC East coach at Vanderbilt against teams like Georgia. So can he take advantage of a Georgia team that's going through some transition right now? It'll, it'll likely be Christian Hackenberg's last game at quarterback for Penn State's had kind of a bizarre career. So we'll see. Uh, I think one team will have a chance to grab a little bit of momentum going into a much more important 2016 season. And Hackenberg will certainly want to prove to NFL scouts that he is a Sunday quarterback. That game noon on ESPN. Holiday Bowl on December 30th in San Diego, America's finest city. Number 25, USC taking on Wisconsin. USC head coach Clay Helton, he's just, he just fired four assistant coaches, so a little bit of disarray there, but he assured the team is ready for the Holiday Bowl. Why should we care about this game? Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the both teams perform. I mean, USC loses the Pac-12 championship game. They know who their coach is going to be, but all that change on the staff, how, how is that going to affect them, especially defensively? Meanwhile, Wisconsin's terrific on the defensive side, but their offense has cost them two wins that could have made them a playoff conversation or at least in the Rose Bowl. So they need to get better on that side of the ball preparing for USC. We know that USC can put up points in this game. So Wisconsin, Joel Stave and company is going to have to match it. So uh, two teams that are kind of, we don't know where they're headed at this point, uh, meeting in an important game. That game, 10.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. That is your drive through bowl guy. Woo! You ready? Oh, right. man, that was a lot. I got I to gotta see if I can hit the camera. Oh, oh I got nice it. Job. That's our edition of drive through You can play quarterback in Wisconsin. Rick. I'm Kerry Chow. We'll see you. Uh, probably, probably not. <laughs>